G'day team, welcome back to the channel. Uh, more AFL 23 news for you today. I'm gonna be breaking down, or not breaking down, I'm gonna be asking the questions, the important questions about AFL 23 and uh, like specifically more about career mode, online, uh, and things like that. At the launch party the other night, I did an interview with Ross. This is exactly what I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the whole thing in full. Um, I don't think I cut out any questions, but pretty much everything I wanted to know about the game, I asked in this. So if there was anything I forgot to ask, sorry about that. Um, but you're gonna learn a whole bunch of information about the game in this interview. Let's get it on. All right, so we are here at the AFL 23 launch with Ross the Boss. Uh, and we're gonna ask him everything about the game, obviously. Full. And, I'll, and I'll answer some of it. He'll answer as much as he can, <laughs> he tells me. Um, obviously tonight we unveiled the cover, cover players. Yep. Uh, we have Track, who's the nicest guy in the world. Yep. And uh, Darcy Bessio, how did you get, come up with that? Was that your idea or was well, that the AFL see, mostly? We weren't allowed to have both Darcy, you know, and Cripps. So, yeah, yeah, you know, of course, classic Carl. I would have liked to have Darcy and Cripps on there, but yeah, oh well. Oh, but well. Tracker will do, actually, he's, <laughs> he is awesome, obviously. He is so Premier nice. Player. He Premier is Super too player. nice. He's awesome. And Darcy, Darcy equally, Darcy equally. He want to know about the game. Yep. That's why I'm here, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. So uh, me up I had a bit of a go me. earlier. Uh, how do you think it is, obviously, between where it is now and where you'd like it to be at launch? I think uh, animation-wise, likeness-wise, uh, all the incidental stuff, yep. the career mode and all these things, I think they're, they're on point. Yep. We won't be changing any of that. Yep. But AI-wise, we're still tuning. Yep. So we got... We got uh, Johnny Barker, a um, couple of AFL coaches. Yep. Um, they've sat over our shoulders and they've actually given us a breakdown of how every team plays. And we didn't know until we got into round one how the setup was going to be. Yep. So now that we got the setup from round one, we're able to actually go now and hammer before April 13 yep. and get this stuff in. So really fine tune each day. team to play how yeah. they're currently playing exactly. this season. Exactly. Yep. Oh yes, I was talking to Mitch Robinson earlier today. He was fantastic. He, he was saying he's going to be doing some mocap for you guys. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is so that a hidden information or is that so now? No, 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 no. So Mitch, Mitch will be down at Carlton tomorrow. Yep. Mitch has returned to Carlton. The first time he's ever been back to Carlton yep. since uh, gone. Yep. Um, but yeah, no. Mitch will return to Carlton tomorrow. Uh, we're going to put him in the high performance center. Yep. And we're going to put him in the mocap suits in the high performance center and see how he goes. Beautiful. <laughs> So it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Career mode, I guess yeah. people want to know about career mode. What are you doing differently? And like, I guess, what was your approach to this career mode? Because tonight you had a few presentations, but there wasn't a lot of in-game, st like in-depth yeah, yeah, stuff sure. about the game. So, yeah. if I'm allowed to ask yeah. a question, hey, you can always ask me anything <laughs> as to what I answer. What? What? But no, is so that going to be revealed later as to like no, no, how mode. in depth it is, or what? What sort of the the story is that you play as a team, can you play as an individual? You've got hey, you've got both. You've got both? You've got both. So the I think team will team will be the most played. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind team oh, will yep. be the most That's played. That's what I'll be playing. Because there's nothing like sitting in the forward pocket waiting for the ball. Yeah, there's there's 18 people on the field yeah, on exactly. your team. Exactly. It's a lot of time that exactly. you're not gonna get the ball. Exactly. With with that though, obviously, do you take a different approach and going, all right, this is what your player has to do? Yeah, like is that oh, what you're well, trying to a do? Little bit, a little bit, a little bit more we, objective based for that player rather than just yeah. take the field and do whatever you want. Well, we did this in our rugby games. Yeah, back in the day, where you're meant to perform a role. So if you decide that you're a full forward who wants to go on ball, you're not going to do real well. Yeah, like in terms of you've got a team role and you need to perform it. So essentially, we will ascertain as to whether you played a good game or not based on what your role was. Yeah. And it's one of the interesting things, like with football in general. You look at the Brownlow count, you, you, sometimes I'll look at a Cripper, and I will have been in the rooms prior to a game. I'll know that he's had a role. I'll know that he's not going to earn any Brownlow votes because he's got a role, he's going to do his job, yep. and he'll earn him nothing. But he'll get the game, he'll get the team a win. Yeah. You know? And we see it week in, week out, where players have to perform certain roles. Yeah, exactly. And that's where we're headed. Cool. Um, on on that, if there is, like obviously there's a player career for both team and uh, individual. With your cricket and your tennis games, you've had like sort of cutscenes, stories along with that. Is that going to translate into yeah. AFL? Yeah. yeah. 
Yep. So you'll get you'll get some of that as well, yeah. And uh, I, I figure you're going to go down the track of creation tools and all yep. that sort of stuff. So every creation tool that we have for cricket yep. and for tennis and all those, all of those creation tools day one. So essentially you'll be able to create any game, any ground, any time, any players. So my full expectation is someone will make the 1973 Tigers. Yeah. You know, the, the 1980 Tigers. Um, unfortunately, you know, the Tigers of current. Yeah. So I expect them to be out pretty soon. Yep. No, oh, that's good. And that will come for the creation tools. Is that going to be a standalone thing as well for like PC point, no. for people? No. Okay. So it'll be inbuilt to the PC version and it's all cross platform as we yep. always do. But there are some real nutbags out there. Yeah. And they will they will create all of it. Yeah. Fantastic. No Especially Carlton supporters who have been waiting, you know, 25 years for something to happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm sure we'll be creating the 95 side and the Yeah. Along with the creation tools, there was something you had in Cricket 19, but you didn't have it in 22, which was scenario mode. Is that going to be We don't have scenario returning? mode. Returning? No? no Not at this point? Okay. We actually do want scenario mode. Yeah. So there's no doubt it will come. Yeah. Earlier tonight, you were saying you're working with AFL and AFLPA on potentially getting in previous players, legends. Yeah. What? Where do you see that going? Well, where's your I thought mean, process okay, here? So well, a, I mean, the obvious. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, an yeah, obvious yeah, thing yeah. that people are thinking so about and going. There's All right. a G rating, right? Yeah. And on that G rating, it says coarse language. Yes. And there's another thing on there. Well, and the coarse language happened because they misheard bullocking. Yes, which is what I said. Bullocking. Yes. Yep. Right. So that's the course language. And then the other rider is the microtransactions. Yes. So if you think about legends and you think about current players and you think about them playing together and you think about microtransactions, it leads you to the okay. obvious conclusion. So with an, with an unspoken answer there as to yeah. where that's going, is that something that will be around uh, the launch of the game or, or is it not in terms of like yeah. past players and everything, but in terms of the current day players? And It's very, very likely that we want legends before we launch it. Right, okay. So we may be talking a week, two weeks, three weeks yep. before we launch it. Okay. Because I want Legends. Yeah. You know, and you might have seen people. And it's Dark. obviously a yeah. licensing nightmare to get older players in because well, they all want different money it, and things yeah, like that. What it, what it is, is they want to know that the money is going for the good of the players. Yeah. And that's why we're working with the Players Association. Because working with the Players Association, we can ensure that past players are actually getting the benefit. Yeah. And you know, it's a you know, it's a it's a obviously topical that we look after past players. Yeah. You know, a lot of them are in strife and need help. Yeah. Um, on that, like, uh, we've obviously got that. We'll leave that to the side for now. But uh, the online experience is that something you're looking to pursue in terms of more of an esports aspect? Yeah. Compared to, I guess, what previously has just been like a big leaderboard or something like yeah. that. Esports is where we go. Um, day one, it's not so esports friendly, um, but we're going to get there. Yeah, we're definitely going to. We're going to use all the benefits. We use this system called Playfab. We use the benefits of Playfab and voyeur modes and all those sort of things will come. Yeah. So that two people can be playing head to head. Yeah. And you can have thousands of people watching. Yeah. But from their own camera angles and all that stuff. So question on that. If I if someone's playing an online match, is there a chance, is there a way I can spectate it or not? At the moment no, but you will be able to. Okay, cool. It's on our and our, on our list to yeah. catch in. Because I'm thinking from a streamer point of view, if I oh, want to yeah. run a tournament with like 32 viewers oh. and I want them all in there and I want to be able to watch their games Absolutely. and do whatever they're doing, Absolutely. I'll be able to be able to do that and at you some be able stage. To put, like? You should be able to put the camera wherever you want. Right. They, they, you don't impact that game. Yep. You're a total voyeur. You don't impact that game. Put the camera where you want, watch the replays you want, stick with a player if you want. Yeah. That sort of stuff. Oh. Broadcast um, friendly. Yeah, ex exactly. Last thing, is there anything people should know about this game before they buy it? Like compared to, I guess, all the other AFL games that are better than this, is there anything that you're like, this is why this game is better, this game is different, this is why you should buy AFL 23 because you're an AFL fan and this is the game for you? Well, look, I think never before have all the players been captured to the, the depth that they have. Yeah. So in terms of being real, it's real. Yeah. And, and we, we've got players in mimicking other players. 
the players themselves, and you've seen tonight, the players themselves love the game. Yeah. Like you've seen, they love the game. Some of them, there's a couple of guys, maybe a day cost or two, yeah. that maybe didn't like their Wasn't, wasn't happy with his wasn't rating, I heard that but, earlier uh, tonight. Yep. Hey, Champion Data did it. Yeah, no. Not us. That's it. Not us. On, the, on that, I guess I spoke to Mike about it earlier, but let's get it on, on record. Like, how... How did you go about that and your partnership with Champion Dada to get the players like ratings in game? So it, it, it's a boring answer. Yeah. We leveraged the AFL as a shareholder of Champion Dada yeah. to get us the data. Yeah. So, so they didn't have many choices. Right. Big brother said, hey. <laughs> please, please give think, this to us. No, nah, not I don't know if please was used. <laughs> you, you're giving this yeah. to us, all right. I mean, yeah, it's our game. Yeah. Give us a data. Is that going to be a rolling thing in terms yeah. of like as the season goes on, it's yeah. just automatically going to Absolutely. roll through? Fantastic. 100%. And same with like team lineups and yeah. everything like that is just yeah. going to be co-current with what's happening? Exactly. Beautiful. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ross, no for the chat. Thank I really appreciate much. it. And that's it. A bunch of stuff learned about AFL 23, Korea Online, um, obviously the Ultimate Team sort of announcement as well, which had a separate video on yesterday. Um, there, there's a lot in there. I might even do a, a separate video after this doing like a everything we, we know so far, just sort of breaking down all the, the answers and specific things about what we're getting, what we could be getting in the future and what is gonna be available at launch. So that's something maybe to look forward to. And if you are looking forward to AFL 23, make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be nowhere else that will have as much fun, good content on it. I mean, there might be some other places, you never know. But I'm gonna be covering it extensively uh, up until launch, launch, post-launch. Th this is the place to be if you're looking for AFL 23. Uh, so make sure you uh, stick around and thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.